Well, good morning, everyone. Um, this weekend, I found myself on a boat in the heat of the day and um, with no shade. Yeah, in a bathing suit and shorts. So I have a little bit of a superficial tan going on. I took some video of my phone, but um, I think, you know, for the most part, I feel like it's uh, more of like a reddish superficial, um, you know, things just aren't as glowy as they were a couple days ago. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, it, it sucks. Like, I could have planned it out a little better. Like, I could have still gone on the boat, maybe just went later in the evening or something like that, or waited for more cloud coverage. But, you know what? I was out in, like, direct, direct sunlight for, like, 15 minutes. And um, I do not recommend it if you are on McQuinnell. <laughs> like, don't do it. Like, you will feel, like, a type of burn on your skin. Um, and so, th thankfully, I didn't have the topical with me because... Um, the tube I have, like I didn't bring a checked bag when I went out of town and so I couldn't have this in my carry-on because it's too big. So thankfully that day I didn't have it. So technically the there was like two days where I didn't put on my McQuinol and retinol blend. Um, and I guess that's good because like honestly the reaction to being in the sun, even though I was only in direct sunlight for like 15 minutes, um, even though that that's a really short amount of time, like I could feel it guys. like. I could feel it on my skin. You have to also understand that um, when you're using like a topical like this, uh, it, it's gonna make your skin just, um, it's easier to damage. And so even to like cut yourself, like it's just, it's easier. Um, like with the cell turnover, it's literally working to remove like, you know, the top layer of your skin at all times. And so you definitely have to um, almost like baby your skin or you'll find that you can easily, you know, cut yourself on something. Um, which is interesting because like when I was using tretinoin um, on my face, it was like the same thing. And so you'll go through this period of time of being very sensitive. And then it's like the skin that comes after like a couple of months, it's like it is plumper. Like it's, there's more like volume to it because like tretinoin and retinols in general, these are like the number one leading um I guess topicals for like skin aging so for anti-aging so it's funny because like at first it's like it almost like weakens your skin but like what's produced i guess after that process it's usually like so much stronger than what you had prior so it's funny how that works um so it just kind of reminded me of this because like i saw like on my skin where like i had like these these little cuts and i'm just like oh my gosh um this is like what happened when i was using tretinoin on my face and even like on my chest like even scratching myself like if i was asleep i'd have to be really careful um not to scratch myself too hard because yeah you can kind of break the skin fairly easily um, those first few months on it so um, the interesting thing about it is that I think um, so what I'm gonna do since this is a superficial tan um, you know it shouldn't be something that takes months to remove um, you know i mean obviously like i was really disappointed <laughs> that i put myself in that situation because you know spend a lot of money and time um you know to just get to where my skin is even at right now and so obviously any type of setback is kind of sucky but at the same time it's like living your life and having fun i mean those are also you know memories that you'll never forget so you know i'm kind of like I had to somehow, you know, make a positive out of something that's just obviously disappointing. And so the positive is going to be that um, I'm waiting for my second bottle of the semi-permanent lotion to come in. So this first bottle, I've had this bottle for almost two months now. And um, so if you're using this like once a day, because all in all within like the almost two months that i've been on this okay so i just checked and so the first video that i posted with the bottle is like may 24th so that's literally like two months ago today <laughs> um and so when i started the first month i was doing it twice a day um but the second month like coming into the second month i just stopped and i started using it once a day um so if you obviously if you want faster results you need to do it twice a day but also um i think the only way like i was able to make it last this long because i was using it on arms chest stomach back full back like lower back um top of 
back, uh, legs, obviously. So I was using it basically almost everywhere. But the only way I think I made it last this long was that I was also cutting it with coconut oil. So I would take a scoop of coconut oil and then I would squirt out a little, you know, uh, like a dime size or nickel size amount of this. And then I would go leg by leg and just do that repeatedly to try to make it stretch a little bit more. So obviously if you're just using the straight semi-permanence um, lotion, then you know, two months on one bottle, maybe you can do it if you're using it like once a day. I don't know, but um, I was just like trying to make sure like I didn't run out of it before I got my second bottle. And so I've done really, really good. Um, I think the second bottle right now, it's like, it's made it to my city. So I'm wondering if like, it's gonna be dropped off today or tomorrow, but I think I did a great job of making this last as long as I did. So um, overall, I've only missed maybe three days of putting this on my body, and usually those were just when I didn't, I was like out of town and I didn't bring like a checked bag. Now that the second bottle's coming here, um, obviously I'm going to bump myself back up to using it twice a day um which you know twice a day i mean already like even using it once a day and cutting it with um the coconut oil i was already really impressed with my skin like i was i was already like so excited and so happy um and uh you know i think it's um it's interesting so if you were to do this alone without MSM or without glutathione, I think this would still get you results. Um, and I only know that from experience. I think I stopped doing my rectal syringes about three and a half, almost four weeks ago now, just to test this out and see what would it do like once you hit like your glutathione um, goals? Cause like, I feel like I'm getting pretty close to my goals. It's like, I wanted to see, okay, could I do one or the other? So could I either do maybe like two or three glutathione, um, what is it called? I was about to say suppositories, <laughs> I don't know. Um, two or three glutathione rectal syringes a week for like my maintenance schedule, or would I just use something like a semi-permanent solution and then keep that going um, a couple, probably a couple times a week because like this stuff like it works and so obviously like if you're hitting your skin goals or you're getting close to your skin goals you wouldn't want to use this like every single day or you're just obviously going to go past the skin goal so it just depends on what complexion you're trying to achieve so being almost a month with no glutathione but i am still on msm so i'm still doing msm and i'm still doing vitamin c um and then uh the other uh the other vitamins that I was telling you guys about in the updated skincare routine video. So it's like, there I'm still on some oral lighteners, um, but I just thought that it was interesting that I continued to make progress. So um, if you're having like an emergency, like right now I'm having an emergency because <laughs> of what I did in being in direct sunlight over the weekend and now I have like a superficial tan. So if there is an emergency, then obviously just add back on your glutathione. Like, so people who are starting your journey and you're doing oral glutathione, um, let's say oral, but um, just rectal glutathione. So just, to, so when you're doing things that are gonna lighten you from the inside out, obviously this is a topical. So we're, we're working with, you know, our top layer of skin and trying to, just lighten it up layer by layer by layer. But glutathione is working from the inside out. Like there are so many different layers of our skin. So I think both together, like that's one of the biggest or I guess quickest skin hacks by itself. Cause like already using something that's pretty heavy duty, like this will also get you your results. Like my results didn't stop within the last three and a half weeks that I haven't take my that I haven't taken my glutathione. But if you're doing it together and you guys like have somewhere to, I don't know, go, maybe you have like an event, it could be like a wedding, I don't know, it could be a graduation, and it's like, I wanna lighten like this quickly, then using both glutathione and something like this, it's gonna be, you know, pretty intense results. <laughs> like, it's gonna be noticeable. Um, so I can't really say that I recommend just taking glutathione by itself um, if you want to speed things up. And so I guess the second thing you could do if you didn't want to do like a daily lotion or something, um, would be to do your glutathione. So either if you're on acetyl or liposomal glutathione or doing the rectal syringe route, um, you would do that. And then you would um, maybe do like a chemical peel. Um, you could do it once a month or you could do it once every two months. So that's if you didn't really want to use like, cause you know, this is a pretty serious topical. So obviously there's limitations to what you can do with this. Obviously being in direct sunlight is like one of them. Um, so for other people, just using something like a Korean Italy cloth, or um, I guess uh, 
like a 20% or 30% vitamin C serum like on their body like doing that they would be fine but if you like wanted to get like super serious then yeah high amounts of glutathione mega dosing and then something like yeah like this <laughs> So now that I'm back wanting to get, um, you know, back to where I was prior to this trip, because I was, I was really feeling my skin. I was like really happy with it. Now I'm just like, ugh, I'm kind of disappointed. But um, yeah, so I had the choice to introduce glutathione back into my routine and to, you know, do that for however long until I get back to my starting point or um, double up or even triple up on using the lotion and so I think for right now I want to still hold off on reintroducing the glutathione back into my um, back into like my daily routine just because like I only stopped it like just for like a short amount of time just to see what this could do alone um, and so now that I know that it will still continue to progress your skin I want to see how does it work with superficial tans um, is it slower with getting rid of those or like you know how long till i would get back to what i was prior to this weekend and so this video that i just took on my phone um this morning um obviously this is like a good um i guess before photo of where i'm at currently right now that i've uh, got this tan and then um yeah i'm interested to see and even doing the the double up of this i'm just interested to see where i will be within the next two weeks because i do feel like this works pretty quickly and then yeah after i get back to my um original start point so once i get back to what i was looking like three days ago <laughs> then i'll reintroduce my glutathione back into my routine because i'm not quite to my my goal like i'm not ready to stop glutathione well i'm not even really ready to maintain it um i was just testing things out because like how else am I going to know like how well this actually works